What's up everybody? Here's that uh, hybrid striped bass fillet we had from yesterday. We're gonna do the uh, catch and cook with. Those two pieces of meat above it are the actual cheek muscles, what some people would call the, the cheek oyster. So we, we pulled those out, they're super tender. Uh, one of the best bites on the fish. We're gonna season those up as well. So we're gonna take a little olive oil, rub it down and then take this rub we made. We got one third parts Old Bay, one third parts Cajun, and one third parts Mexican. It's got that chili powder in there. That eats good on this, on this uh, striped bass filet. So what we want to do, we want to take a little bit of, we'll take a little bit of olive oil, rub her down, kind of mix it in there. It's a good binder. All right, get that rubbed in there. So then we're going to bring our seasoning on over. We're just going to, we're just going to hit all this with that seasoning. We're only going to do this side. Not gonna, we don't do both sides. It's a little too strong for both sides. Sprinkle those a little bit. Do a little bit of a pat. All right, that ought to be enough. We're gonna give it a little bit of a pat. Let that sit there. Get into the meat, and in here in a second, we're gonna get that cast iron skillet warmed up. We're gonna we're gonna blacken this dude. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We got that cast iron nice and hot. You gotta have some oil in there. Now we're gonna dump them fillets in there, and we're gonna blacken them. And I got my two little cheek muscles to go in here. Little delicate things. They're gonna be great though. It's like a little scallop. These fillets, they need to sear on each side about three or four minutes at least. You'll start seeing the edges start cooking up on the top side and getting white around there. <clears throat> That's how you know she's cooking through. I'll probably add a couple, a little bit more oil in there, make sure she doesn't get dry during the, during the cook. So we're gonna let them cook for a few more seconds and we'll hit y'all back when we flip them. All right, folks, so we went ahead and flipped. You can see we got that nice sear and a nice char on there. It's almost like a crust. We flipped our little cheek muscles. They're looking good. So we just need to, <coughs> we just need to let that finish up. Hit it with a little bit more oil.
pull my little cheek muscles out of there before those little boogers get overdone. Can't let that stuff stick. Got to keep a uh, barrier in between that, in between that, in between that food and that pan. That's really what creates that sear, that good crust on there. Stuff's firming up. You can tell just by touching it. It's almost like touching a piece, like touching a piece of beef. Telling the doneness. Check back in with us. We'll show you when we put it on the plate. All right, folks. So she's finishing up. There's there's our finished product. We got a nice crust and a sear on both sides. We're gonna try to pick it up without breaking it. There we go. Then we're gonna get it over here onto this plate. Let me show you what we put put together over here. There's your finished product right there. It's your Cajun blackened hybrid striped bass with a bed of rice and some broccoli. Tell you what, folks that really don't get no better than that, we're gonna go ahead and do a, a fork through. You'll see it break apart. Look at that flaky, hot, steamy fish, man. Don't get no better than that. We're gonna eat this plate of food. See y'all next time. <laughs>